Hello and welcome to today's video. And uh, today we have uh, 5000 game resources with zero peace time between uh, KGR Gepard. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it actually. Um, for next time I might actually look that up. And GP Warren against um, WN Starman and uh, Shish, Shishk. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sisk. It's just a bunch of numbers, basically. Not, not numbers, letters. I don't know if they actually have any reason, but uh, we'll see. Looks like we have a game where there's only French allowed. Which makes sense, I don't know if there's capture or not, but we'll see it in due time. Let's just speed it up for now, a little bit, so we don't have to go through all this initial boredom for too long. Because I don't really have anything to speak about, and the game will start soon enough, pretty much. Rapid Diplomatic Centers, apparently both... Uh, you, you, Gepard and Warren are going for some initial archers. Uh, let's see, Starman is doing the same, and so is Shishk. I'm just, I'm just gonna refer to him as, Sh as Shishk from now on. Oh, and there's stuff going down, so let's beat down a notch. Well, it was quite unexpected. Maybe Gepa and Warren are actually playing the economic game. But they only have two town holds each either. So I don't actually know how this happened. They should have the, the same amount of uh, power, effectively. Of course, Starmer had some archer support, but that's. Of course, that's quite a bit. The archer resistance is initially quite low. But um, the archers are not known for their accuracy, at least not the mercenary ones or the Algerian Barak archers, even the Turkish archers, archers aren't. And let's see here, Warren is, is advancing onto Shish. And he has some archers, I, I presume he's going to burn down this gold mine, which Shish is so abandoning like this. He moved the peasants out, but he isn't using them properly. Oh, here we have something going on. And here we also have something going on, a raid from Starman onto Warren. Rather ineffective, the capture appears to be in fact off. And the mercenaries, swordsmen and infantrymen are doing an easy job. She's kind of wasting some pikes here. Bad idea. Rowan actually appears to have a nice amount of upgrades. But uh, Shishk in the aim in the end won be won because of his numerical superiority. Let's see what's going on here. Looks like Warren and Gepa are not about to engage. Some siege Cossacks are mostly to destroy the archers, which they don't manage to. They are being intercepted by some infantrymen. I don't know what what's happening right now. Now they are engaging. Ooh, the tide has turned. It looks like Star like Starman is now on the far disadvantage in terms of upgrades. He has five five pikes, and Gepa has five six pikes. Maybe he has a curus. No, he doesn't have a curus either. Something was very strange right there. 
Was Starman suffered a heavy defeat, which I cannot ex cannot really explain right now. Let's see. Rowan is superior to Shishk in army power. However, I think he's still a bit in the disadvantage in terms of numbers, which is what Shishk should definitely uh, um, capitalize on right now. Strike hard and strike fast, basically, so that Rowan might not be uh, a threat anymore. Let's see what's going on here. Gepa is making mercenary grenadiers on an infinite row. I don't know if that's the best idea. I, I'm not sure if mercenary grenadier cost increases with each uh, soldier recruited or not. It increases, but not with each soldier, it just increases slowly. But surely. It gets more and more, and it's getting more and more expensive to make more. Let's see what's going on here. No mercenary grenadiers. But it looks like uh, Starman has a lot of archers. Almost 100. That's a nice number. He can burn down anything with ease. Shish doesn't really seem to have too many archers, only 17, which is still enough to burn down the town center or so in the heat of battle, but more will always be better. Oh, I missed this. But it looks like a heavy loss for Starman. Only leaving with his archers anymore. Maybe they can still escape, maybe not. No, they, they surely won't escape anymore. Let's see what he has got on reserves. If Gipa continues a, um, a merciless push downwards, I think Starman's uh, um, Starman's goose is cooked. And especially with Warren just marching down here, ignoring Shishk, which I think he could actually destroy Shishk with ease. Um, infantrymen, 70 bikes and some archers. Uh, maybe not with ease, but with upgrades, that's for sure. You see, Warren's bikes are maxed out. Even Gepard's bikes aren't maxed out yet. That's interesting to know. Stunman's bikes are also maxed out, and Shishk is on the same level as Gepard. Interesting, I would have at least expected Gepa to have fully upgraded pikes by now, considering he kind of destroyed Starman in the biggest part of the game. So his economy shouldn't have been having too much of him of a of a handicap, I should say. What Shishk maybe he is he has indeed forgotten to uh, replenish his mill. But uh, of course he could still collect it. Maybe he's just a bit new. We've all started, uh, started small, some of us are still small. Ah, uh, Dragoons from Warren. Dragoons from Gepa. No Dragoons from Starman, not even Western Regenerators, and I think their goose is cooked. I think that this is almost... almost... Uh, oh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think they are going to recover from this. I think that at this point Starman and Shishk are on a, on a losing road. So let me check if the recording is actually running. And it is. So let's continue. Now there's some Dragoons from Starman, but way too, way too few. And they are going into the, into the firing line. Peasant Brush almost managed to do something. Let's see what, what Shishk is dealing with. A lot, apparently. Does he make anything against this? 
I don't know, it looks like... Oh, now he makes mercenary grenadiers. So he does indeed try to fight back, but his peasants are almost all inactive. Look at this, 47 peasants doing absolutely nothing. It's a shame, he should put these peasants to use on the mill, so he can at least get some ammunition, because with this, he is not going to defend it. Mercenary Grenadiers and Dragoons are not really known for their frugality and ammunition, rather for the exact opposite, to throw a lot of it out. What's he doing? He's engaging. Mm. That's an interesting change because Shish still doesn't have fully upgraded pikes. One does. He even had some Dragoon support, which is better than Grenadier support or Archer support. Interesting outcome. Maybe he just outnumbered him because that's still an, a nice amount of pikes there. But with this dragoon force, there's no way he's gonna take that out with so few with so few grenadiers. The fire rate of grenadiers is abysmal. As a support unit, I would say they are, they are better in melee with this 30 bayonet damage. A nice try from Shish, sending some Siege Cossacks, having almost no success, but almost only. Still think he's going to try and, uh, or try and, uh, ha you know, have to try to do a Sparta move. Apparently he doesn't even try and just gives up. And it's fair enough as well. So there we have it, this game is over. Let's see the statistics. If you want to see the statistics in more detail, as always, you'll have to pause. Because I don't want to stare at them for ages. Right. There we have it. Congratulations, Warren and Gupa. You've beaten Starman and Shishk. <laughs> so, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a comment or don't. And uh, we'll see you at the next video. Bye bye.